Hey guys, it's me. Today I'm teaching you how to draw the Dino Mask from Battlefield Hardline. Now all you need today, gamers, is a simple pencil, mechanical or regular, doesn't really matter, and a handy dandy eraser to erase any mistakes you have. Let's get started, gamers. So what we're doing here is making the body that's going to be holding the mask. Now you can just make the mask, which is pretty late in the video. But anyways, this is how to make the whole shebang right here. Now, what I'm doing is starting off uh, for the legs. And then I'm going up to the actual torso. This guy is going to be a SWAT unit, so he's going to have body armor and shoulder pads. And he's going to be holding a uh, assault rifle, a Scar H looking gun. So, you want to. What I would advise is study uh, sketches uh, or study like um, the physique of um, adult men or adult women, doesn't really matter. And just uh, study their physique and the, their arms and all that. Now, in that's actually really good for uh, sketching as well, because you can really um, observe like the joints in their arms, and their fingers, and their wrists. And what those little circles right there are entertaining uh, little ball points for shoulders and the wrist, and little circles for the fingers as well. It's really easy making a, a hand a circle just for the hand as a sketch, of course. And it just really makes drawing hands and fingers really easy. Now, his arms, like I said before, are going to be holding an assault rifle, so they're going to be slanted upwards with a trigger finger on the left hand right there. Now, I'm making a nice uh, little outline of what the gun will look like. And, of course, the stock, um, it, it being a simple, fast sketch, is going to intercept the left arm right there. But don't worry, in the sketch, of course, we're going to erase any lines that are intercepting each other and intercepting other shapes. And right here, what I'm drawing right here, this rectangular shape, is going to be the magazine of the gun. I'm not really sure if this is a Scar H, but yeah, it's basically an assault rifle. Right here, this is optional as well. I'm making a little uh, reflex sight. I'm getting this from a Google Images, so I'm just going by the picture. Now, of course, uh, in most sketches for making human sketches, uh, you just make an oval, which, well, it's kind of like that, but we're making a odd shaped oval, if you will. So you want to take your pencil, start at the little neck right there on the chest area, and then just go around and make a half-like moon line, and then basically what you want to do is come down and make the jaw which you can just follow my movement of the pencil and how I make the jaw. This, that right there is going to be the upper um, half of his head and basically his upper jaw. Now we're trying to make this guy look like a T-Rex because this is the T-Rex dino mask of course. So you might, this is like a realistic looking dinosaur mask, mask. It's not like a cartoony one at all. It's actually kind of a realistic looking one. So we're actually making a T-Rex uh, face right here. You pay attention closely, this is just the sketch of it. Now, right there, where I just made is a circle, and this could be really helpful uh, for you as well, is just to make a nice little cross or plus sign, if you will, across the head. It makes you, I mean, you don't really have to do, you don't have to do it for this, but for me, it just helps me out a little bit. You know, I just did that early after all, when I, I actually did that late after all, after I made the eyes. So, you know, I made sure that I placed everything correctly, like the nose holes and the eye. And that's the sketch. And right here, we're just sketching. Sorry guys, this took me a really long time, like an hour to make, so this is why it's really going um, super fast. So, um, but yeah, basically you can pause at any moment. Uh, we're just making the satchel packs, um, basically any details that we can observe from the picture and just basically uh, in implementing it up to the drawing. Now, uh, shadowing and wrinkles on clothing is actually not too difficult to replicate, replicate, I, I, okay, to, you know, make, I'm going to say that, yeah. Um, it's, it's not too hard, okay? Um, think of these um, folds and these shadows as like waves, alright? And um, basically, you just need to make them look um, like... It, you just have to depend on your light source, okay? Now, here, I'm just going by what the picture tells me. So, where the shadows go, it goes on the drawing. I'm not really taking any, like, um, sources from uh, any light source I have, like physically here with me. I'm just going by the picture. I would recommend that too, unless you want to just go by your own light source. That could also be helpful for you. 
like say if you have a lamp, that's what I'm talking about, a light source, you know, reflect it off your drawing and then observe um, what uh, lighting it's casting on, like what shadow it's casting on, you know, on different sections of your drawing. But I just go by the picture. The picture is actually more helpful, you know, more a little bit more easier to do. But it's your own thing. Now, of course, you want to clean up this drawing, you know, make it look nice and spiffy. Now, the uh, pencils that I'm using right now are actually Fabric Castell. They're um, they actually come in different shades. These aren't really the, the only set um, that actually comes in lighter and darker shades. You can find pretty much any pencil set that has lighter and darker shades anywhere, like AC Moore's, Walmart, any arts and crafts stores pretty much, or art stores in that uh, case. But yeah, they're really good. Um, I like to switch between a 4B and maybe um, a 2B. 2B is lighter and a 4B is really um, much more darker. So yeah, I find myself switching between those pencils for darker shading, like that little satchel pack I made right there on the uh, right side. And for different folds and different like uh, black decals or shapes like on his uh, shoulder pad right there. Now of course you just want to, if you're doing this from like uh, source material or maybe like a, a figure or a statue or anything, you know, or, or any kind of source material, whether it's on a computer or, it's a bit, or if it's physically right there in front of you, you want to observe it first. Uh, every time I do a sketch I want to observe which shapes I can implement into a simple sketch and then make it so you guys would actually learn it better. And uh, yeah. So guys, don't worry. Um, if you're having trouble, don't be discouraged, you know, no one's perfect, and I know you are a brilliant artist, and don't be too hard on yourself. Stuff like this, if you're really dedicated, it'll just come to you naturally. And if it doesn't, try harder, and you know what guys, you're a great artist no matter what you say, unless, you know, uh, if you're interested in being an artist, that is. If you're, if you're just there to watch the video and just say, oh, that's pretty cool, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, basically what I'm doing here is making that little uh, detailing for the gun. Which is just pretty simple. I mean, it, there's not really much going on with it. The gun's just there as like a little prop, if you will. Of course, I'm darkening the gloves, any um, leather I find, not really, well yeah, kind of leather, which is basically the black um, spot between his shoulder pad and his body armor right there, that, like, that little big gap. And add any shading, of course, this is going to be like our little you know, overview of the drawing. We're going to clean up and make it ni nice and spiffy. And of course, there's like a little um, emblem right there on his chest that says police. You don't really have to make it, I just fit P.O. as there, so it makes it look like, oh, as police, but of course it's covering up, it's covered up by his assault rifle. So now that once we did all the uh, detailing, you know, for the chest area, for the whole body, it's time for the, the big point, the overall of the video, is the dino mask. Now, like I said, you do not have to make the uh, whole body or torso, okay? You can just skip to this part of the video where I'm making the dino mask, which is actually, to be honest with you, much more simpler than making the whole um, body, but once you have both the head and the body, it actually makes it a little uh, really cooler, but it really doesn't matter, it's just up to your preference. Now, what we're doing here, like we did for the torso and everything else in this drawing, we're just uh, outlining, of course, and we're gonna make, we're gonna erase that little plus sign we had, and there's like little rows of jagged little teeth and of course you want to make his little gum line, his little, like, little that uh, connected to his jaw right there. Just, you know, darken, uh, shapen the, um, the little head more naturally, because this is, does look like a realistic uh, dinosaur, a uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex head. Of course we got more uh, rows of teeth on his upper jaw, this time it looks more sharper. And of course, tar uh, darken that upper jawline as well. Basically, what you want to do is like do a nice little, um, little darken, uh, just like outline the teeth in the nice dark shade. Of course, you want to switch between um, light shades, gray shades, light medium shades, um, and darker shades. 
Now, the Faber-Castell pencils are very useful, but you don't need them. It's just, basically, if you just want to switch between different shades and tones of, uh, black or, you know, any pencil lead, just put more pressure into your, uh, pencil if you need a darker, uh, coat of lead. So, yeah. There's a big tongue in the middle right there, so go ahead and make, like, a little oval-like shape, uh, connecting down to his little teeth and drooping down to the bottom jaw. This guy's going to be roaring at the enemies, rushing towards them, rushing towards those thugs. His tongue's pretty easy. Not too much shitting as the, we dealt with that one. Of course, I'm uh, spiffing this little face up, erasing the plus sign. Now, of course, he has some eye, shadow, eye like shadows on his eyes. They're like pretty much drooping down to the bottom right there. Of course, I'm making the wrinkles in the eye. Right there, of course, you want to make the pupil, which for dinosaurs, um, it will, for, uh, carnivores, they have that really, like, sharp, eagle eye looking, um, pupil in their eyes. Of course, you want to capture the little grooves on his forehead, so make sure you do that as well. And of course, make a nice little veiny outline on his, uh, nostrils, you know, make it look more, uh, make it more pop out, you know. Of course, adds a little bit of shading on his head. Not too much shading needs to be needed. Uh, needs to be um, applied. Mainly, uh, the shading is just focused on his nose, primarily. So yeah, there's like grooves on the side of his um, little nose, and just uh, basically on his forehead as well. Of course, darken in any lines and erase any. Um, lines or marks that you feel like need, don't need to be there. And of course, darken up your lines, you know, make your drawing more, um, make it more pop out, you know. And shading will always help do that, guys. Shading is awesome when helping, when making a uh, drawing really pop out, you know. So guys, uh, what do you think about Battlefield Hardline? Now, I have I personally haven't played the game yet, and uh, I've heard that it wasn't such a great game, and uh, I watched Angry Joe's review of it, and it has to be by far the worst of Battlefield out of the Battlefield uh, series, but I guess there's still be fun to be made, you know? It's kind of cool they're adding a little dino mask, you know, kind of paying homage to all those rumors about, or, you know, fans wanting a dinosaur-like survival thing, which would be really cool in Battlefield. I think they should do that and maybe, hopefully, Battlefield 5. I don't know, Dice CA? I mean, you know, wouldn't hurt. But, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully this uh, drawing it, um, is... Uh, tutorial is helpful for you. And guys, I will catch you later. Press start to draw, signing off.